So a few weeks ago, we saw the first ever sailing unassisted of a tanker across the Arctic. Um, our work was uh, interested in establishing how far in advance could you predict um, when the Arctic will open so you can plan more voyages like this. Now, the Arctic goes, um, grows, this Arctic sea ice grows and decreases every year and is at a minimum around September. So we wanted to establish how far before September will you be able to predict these routes with some skill. So at the moment, if you wanted to sail along this route along the Russian coast, um, the Russian Federation require that you apply in advance, maybe weeks or even up to three months in advance, you need to um, apply, apply in advance. Now, these seasonal predictions are very difficult in, in the climate world, and we actually find seas, uh, skill on this timescale. So, so users of these routes will now be able to um, potentially make forecasts of, of when the ice is going to recede enough to let them go through and they will plan these sorts of big logistical challenging voyages this far in advance. The whole um, idea about Arctic routes and why they're becoming um, more popular is, is twofold. There's, uh, there's the big grand um, I idea that's really popular um, that you can sail from East Asia to Europe using these Arctic routes. Now these are 40% shorter if you were to jump over the pole as opposed to sailing around the Suez Canal. So that's savings in fuel and, and, and man hours. Um, other reasons why Arctic routes are more popular is, is Russia particularly is investing massively up in the Arctic in big infrastructure projects up there. The next stage of this work is, is we, we've um, established that you can do this in a theoretical framework. And what we'd really like to do next is, is apply this to operational models to see can, can we do this this year? What, 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 what is the challenge for this year and then the next year? And, and do it in the recent past as well. How, how well could have these forecasts worked in, in the last few years when these routes have been used um, and, and they're gaining in popularity?